This network is a dataset consisting of almost 6,000 nodes and 300,000 edges. The nodes are Wikipedia articles from the category European Cuisine. The edges are the hyperlinks present in the text of the articles. I'm not an expert of that domain, but I have some basic knowledge, like everyone else, and my goal is to visualize the network, to describe its structure, and to build an interpretation about how different kinds of articles get connected differently. My first step is to make a basic temporary visualization in Giphy. When you open a network in Giphy, you always see this black square. That's because you need to give a shape to the network using a layout algorithm. That's the first thing I want to do because it reveals the structure. And for that, I'm using uh, Force Atlas 2. The layout takes time to unfold the network. While it's running, I am tuning other things. My goal is to see the structure, but here the center is very black because there are so many edges. So to see the structure better, I color the nodes in gray and I make the edges thinner. As we can see, there are a number of well-defined clusters. That's a good news because it's probably going to make my life easier. From there, I want to make the network a bit more compact. I'm using the gravity setting for that. I am looking for something balanced. I want to bring the sparse parts of the network closer to the dense center, but not so much that the sparse parts start looking dense. My next move is to bring hierarchy in the nodes. Intuitively, not all nodes are equally important in the structure. I want to make important nodes bigger. What does important mean? Well, that's up to me. As this is just a draft, I will go for something simple. So you remember that the edges are the hyperlinks of the Wikipedia articles. Uh, those are directed. By that I mean that A citing B is not the same as B citing A. And I think that an article is important when it gets cited by other articles, not when it cites other articles, at least for that network. So. That metric is called in degree, it's the number of inbound citation, inbound links, and I will make the nodes as big as their in degree. With these settings, it's good enough for me, and now I can click on prevent overlap in the layout settings to bring a bit more clarity as a finishing touch, and voila! The layout is good enough to explore the network, but I see a problem. There are so many clusters that it will get confusing to talk about them and remember which cluster is which. So I will make my life easier by using colors. A community detection algorithm with, will find the clusters for me and I will color the nodes accordingly. I count the approximate number of clusters, about 20, and I run the algorithm named modularity multiple times, trying to find the settings that give me about 20 communities. Done. Let's assign 20 colors and here it is. I will commit to this layout and colors for my exploration. I am now displaying the labels so that the bigger nodes have bigger labels. It helps with reading them. Let me save the network for safety and see you in the next video for exploring it.